Hi guys, uh, greetings from the day myself, uh, Vijay Tavardhan and in this video session we are going to have a discussion about how to construct the isometric projections of the given example and the uh, question is like this, the following figure shows the painted side views of the solid, draw the isometric projections of the solid. Now you can see we have uh, two different solids which are connected together. So here the vertical size of uh, rectangle is 60 by 45 which is having a thickness of 15 millimeter. So let me construct that solid first, that is uh, the height I am going to take it as 60 millimeter and then 45 millimeter at an angle of 150 degree I am going to draw and again uh, the length is taken as uh, 60 millimeter and minus 30 and I can connect back to the first point. Now we know that the thickness is 15 millimeter so I am going to draw the 15 millimeter thickness at an angle of 30 degree and then after drawing that, I can select these two edges, then make use of a move command. So, copy of move is on. Move with respect to this edge, to this edge. Now, one can see that we got the required construction of the 45 mm by 16 uh, mm rectangle with a thickness of uh, 50 mm has been constructed. Now, after which we have a 25 by 15 mm rectangle. So, I am going to show you how to construct the same here. So now, I am going to show that height is uh, 15 millimeter and then the 25 at an angle of 150 degree, again 15 millimeter and angle minus 90 degree. So I am going to connect it back like this. Now the length of that line is 60 millimeter, which is available in the front view. I am going to draw a 60 millimeter line at an angle of 30 degree. And then what I am going to do is I am going to select this complete face then using a move command and I am going to place this face over here once again. Then using a line command, all the visible edges I am going to connect it and the invisible edges I am not going to connect it. And then what I am going to do, I am going to move this figure with respect to a command called as move and switch off the copy of move, move with respect to the midpoint over here. So now this midpoint has to be portion on the midpoint of a line over here. Now you can see that the figure has been completed as per our requirement. Uh, then I am going to position it uh, properly on the screen and then using the trim command, the invisible edges now it can be trimmed. And now the isometric projections of the given combination is completed. So this is called as isometric view or isometric drawing. So selecting this figure we will go to a scale command and then uh, reducing to isometric scale of 0 0.8164 one can get the isometric projections for the given combinations. So if you are having any sort of doubts to solve this problem and this is my contact details, you can contact me at any point of time. And also, if you are liking this video, you can press the like button and also you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can share these videos to anyone. And also, please uh, press the bell icon so that you will be getting the latest updated videos in my YouTube channel as and when it is going to be uploaded. And once again, thank you very much for watching these videos in my YouTube channel.